Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical and we are back in front of these two beautiful flags and today we are talking about the AK and uh, nothing specific on the AK, the gun itself. We're talking about magazines, okay? Just because the Russian ammo ban and you know all this stuff with Joe Biden, creepy sleepy Joe Biden, does not mean you should shy away from the AK. The AK is a great rifle. This one specifically is a Lee Armory AK-74. It's a Bulgarian parts kit built by Lee Armory. I actually won this gun from a Polinar Tactical Channel giveaway, and uh, it was a parts kit, and then Lee Armory built it for me. So that is awesome. Shout out to both Polinar Tactical and Lee Armory, and I love this gun. This gun is amazing. It shoots excellently, and uh, it's just sick. 545 by 39 uh, a little less common than the 7.62x39 with the AK-47 or AKM, but I prefer the 545. I have both, obviously, and uh, just running a mill serp sling on it because that's the way to do it. You know, nothing special. Wood furniture, absolutely gorgeous rifle. That should be the thumbnail right there. <laughs> Maybe it will be, um, but this thing is loaded up as it should be. Uh, because it is a fighting rifle, right? And in case we have to fight, boom, I got my rifle. Uh, it's loaded. Or is it? Um, that was my bad. Looked totally, terribly tactical on that one. That's where the name comes from. I'm not good at this, people. <laughs> I'm decent. But no, what we're talking about is we are talking about the Magpul Mag specifically, okay? Because if you can't, we shouldn't be talking about the Magpul Mags. Because I can't, uh, apparently... Up, 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 apparently, there we go. Okay, Jesus. I'm not even going to restart this and, and refilm this. You guys are just going to have to suffer through it. I apologize. But the Magpul mags, okay? So Magpul mags, especially on AKs, okay? If they are not steel reinforced on uh, the locking tab and then the feed lips, like the Gen 3s, at least in the 7.62x39 mags are. Um, and I don't know about the... Uh, the 545 mags what generation if at all that they have um have steel reinforcements but if you can't get ammo for your favorite ak whether it be 762 by 39 or 545 by 39 or you refuse to buy it because it's far too expensive because of everything going on the russian import ammo bans and this that and the third um buy magazines okay magazines are just as important and they are disposable items you know over time through use practice training whatever they're going to get torn up beat up you're going to drop on the floor you're going to run them over with your truck whatever magazines plus they're always trying to ban them especially anything of standard capacity 30 rounds or higher um so if you can't get ammo get some mags uh this is loaded of course because it should be this is another one that uh is just hanging out took it out of the package and then i got a whole box a whole box off camera here full of more Magpul 545 by 39 mags. Um, they're cheap, they're common, they're available. Are they the best magazine? No, not by any means, uh, especially if they're not steel reinforced. On the 545 guns, I find that it's not as necessary or as important for them to be steel reinforced because the cartridge itself is more like a 556, uh, which is why you get less curve to the magazine because it's, it's more straight and narrow, it's smaller, it's lighter. Um, so it doesn't cause as much stress um, on the on the mags I found as like a 7.62x39 gun would because those are chunkier, taper, more tapered cartridges and uh, they have a tendency to spread the feed lips on the mags um, a little bit more easier. So if you're running a 7.62x39 gun, you can still get the P mags if that's all you can get. I always recommend Bulgarian mags, Circle 10, Russian Bakelites, or just steel mags for AKs of any variety made overseas um, by a communist country that makes AKs and AK stuff, okay? Um, the U.S. Palm stuff is pretty decent. You know, you can find some other American-made polymer brands or polymer or American brands with polymer magazines, different stuff. A lot of the times, too, with the polymer magazines, they're a little bit stiffer, they're a little bit tighter locking into the gun, okay? So sometimes you, gotta, you just got to hit it at that right angle. And uh, I'm not doing a very good job of that tonight <laughs> at all. And I'm supposed to be like the AK guy, and I can't even lock an AK mag into the gun. But I don't know. Long day, rough day. We're here filming YouTube content. Um, 
But either way, I like the Magpul mags, the Magpul mags feed, and they're commonly available, okay? So finding, this is a Bulgarian gun, so finding Bulgarian mags for it is not always the easiest thing. It's not always the cheapest thing, okay? Same thing with the Russian Bakelites, which are awesome magazines for any AK variant, whether it be an RPK, um, AKM, or AK-74, or whatever. Um, Bakelite mags are awesome. They're super expensive. They're like 100, 150 bucks a piece right now, I believe. Um, but if you need something for your AK to supply your AK with, if you don't have a sling, get a sling. You know, you don't have a white light on the gun, you want to run a white light on the gun, get a white light for the gun. Um, extra springs, parts, whatever you might need. If you can't buy the ammo right now, you can be decking this thing out. You can get in all the accoutrement for it and magazines. Magazines are, are the second most important thing to help feed this gun other than the ammo. So make sure you have some mags, people. All right, that's the video. Thank you guys for sticking around while I stumbled through it. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, if you've made it this far, the first three links in the description box below are the most important. Those that help you fight for your God-given inalienable gun rights, which are constantly under attack and forever important. Okay, without the Second Amendment, none of this other stuff matters because we can't do anything about it. Um, if you want to help support the channel, plenty of ways to do that. Discount codes, affiliate links, all in the description box below, the link tree, the PayPal, and then Freedom Fatigues. Freedom Fatigues, it's all for charity. First responder and military veteran charities, check them out. I don't get a penny for it. And uh, furthermore, just I appreciate you guys being here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. YouTube unsubs unsubscribes you guys all the time. Make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.